Hello friends, now we are going to use the prismoid of volume formula to calculate the volume of the soil that can fill up this uh, trapezoidal trough. And uh, to begin with, let's first look at our trough and see. Now, the cross section is trapezoidal, so here it's uh, 4.75, the base is 4.75 meters. The height is 7 meters. The other side, the height is 3 meters. Therefore, it is a prismoidal, meaning it is varying in cross-section. Uh, anything that is prismoidal, if they talk about a prismoidal beam, that means that beam doesn't have a uniform cross-section. In, in other words, it could be a one value here and it could be another value in the next section or at the end. So in here, we can see that is 4.7 meters at the base here, and the base on the other side is 2.75 meters. The height um, here is 3 meters, and the other side is 7 meters. Uh, the top width is actually, okay, uh, is 0.75 meters, okay? Here is also 0.75 meters. So how do we proceed? We can see the cross-sections have been given here. A1 here, the bigger one, is um, 4.75 meters, 0 0.75 on top, 7 meters high uh, or deep, 3 meters deep here, 2.75 meters at the base or at the bottom, then the top is 0 0.75 meters. So let's proceed. We know if we are talking about to, uh, at least regular shapes, we shall use the volume, uh, volume equivalent to L out of 6 into area A1 plus uh, area A2 plus 4 AM. So here we are going to be looking at A1 and A2. Those are the end areas. Then we look at the one in the center of this trough. So now to begin, let's look for area A1. Area A1, we know this is a trapezoidal section and it's going to be a half H into A plus B. So what is uh, uh, A, okay, what is B? A is the top, B is the bottom. H is uh, the depth of the trap at A1. So A1, this is going to be H, which is 7, divided by 2 into 0 0.75, which is the top, plus B, uh, the bottom is 4.75 and this is going to give us uh, what is this going to give us from my calculator is giving us 19.25 square meters so what is a2 a2 is also uh, h out of 2 into a plus b and this is going to be we have 3 out of 2 because the other end uh, the H or the depth is 3, so divide by 2 into 0 0.75 because the top is also 0 0.75, but the bottom is 2.75. And this is giving me 5.25 square meters. So we proceed. What is AM? So AM is actually going to be HM divided by 2 into AM plus BM. So the averages are the ones that we are going to take. So what is the uh, HM? Obviously, it's going to be H plus 3 divided by 2. So we divide this by 2 into what is AM. So AM is going to be the top, which is 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 divided by 2. Then we add B is uh, 4.75 plus 2.75 divided by 2. Okay, we are taking the averages of those areas or those sections. Uh, so what is AM? So AM is going to be, uh, obviously, it's going to take us, if I get 0 0.75 plus 4.75, okay, because here, this is what I'm going to get, 0 0.75 here, 4.75. Um, if I add this, 
okay um that would be that would be uh what is here this is going to be five okay this one is going to be five first of all five out of two into this is uh 0 0.75 yes this is 0 0.75 then we add this one out of two and that one out of two this is going to be six plus uh, 1.5 and that would be 7.5 so this gives us 3.75 and what is this going to give us 11.25 square meters therefore to get the volume the volume will therefore equal to uh, what is L? That is 17 out of 6. Because the length along here is 17 meters. So what is area A1? Area A1, we had 19.25. Then area A2, the last area, was 5.25. Then plus 4 times AM, of which AM we have gotten 11.25 square meters. So what is that going to be? Uh, when we compute this, we are going to find ourselves with the volume approximately, actually it is approximate, equal to 196.92 cubic meters. So the volume of the soil will be 196.92 cubic meters. That is how we can use the prismoidal formula okay to determine the volume of the soil or marrow or earth material that we can feel on an embankment uh, or what we can cut away in a trapezoidal channel section or like in this example what we can use to feel this trough thank you